Magandang araw mga kapitbahay. I'm your host, Dr. Contessa Salvador ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. Sa episode na ito, atin namang talakayin kung ano po ba ang mga iba't ibang gamit ng botulinum toxin or commonly termed botox. So atin pong alamin mga kapitbahay, saan po ba pwede pang gamitin? Ito'y sa wrinkles lang ba? O pwede rin po siya sa mga ibang mga indications kagaya po ng mga pagpapawis ng kamay, etc. So, manatili lamang po kayo sa inyong channel. I'm Rinz, 22. I'm a certified public accountant and I'm currently working at SGV and Company. That's actually the biggest accounting firm in the Philippines. <laughs> uh, here, the wetness of my palms and my, my feet. Yeah, like now you can see it's really, you know, the sweatiness. Uncontrollable. Because whenever I'm typing, the computer na babasa. We will be performing a so-called iodine test on Rinse right now. She has a complaint of excessive sweating on the palms of the hands. So the iodine test, we will be applying a povidone iodine on both the hands right now, and after that, a powder will be placed on top of it. are the ones with prominent prominent sweating okay so we're gonna inject on the center and also this parts here and just a little bit here and less here and some here also Magandang araw mga kapitbahay! Welcome po muli sa ating Certified Skin Authority Show. Sa araw na ito, pinag-uusapan po natin ang patungkol po sa injection ng botulinum toxin. Hindi lamang po pala para sa mga wrinkles or lines, hindi lamang pala pang pabata, meron din po siyang mga ibang uses or applications. Katulad po ng episode na ngayon, ang ating pong trinit ay ang tinatawag na hyperhidrosis. I have here with me an accountant. She's actually a certified public accountant. She's 22 years old. She's a beautiful, lovely, wonderful young lady and very promising. Her name is Miss Rins. Hello, Miss Rins. Hello, Doc. Thank you for that very <laughs> warm introduction. Welcome to Certified Skin Authority. So, a while ago, we did a procedure on you. Mm -hmm. We injected the botulinum toxin. How did you feel during the procedure? Um, at first, I feel nervous because, you know, seeing the needle. Yes. <laughs> but um, during the procedure, um, when you first started here in my left hand, um, it's, it's, uh, it's tolerable. It's just a little sensation. Okay. Yeah. Just a minimal discomfort uh -huh. and if then, you want to describe yeah, it. Yeah, just a right. minimal discomfort. And after that, you know, after injecting, it's okay. I, I, I can feel no pain at all after. Because you've been having that problem a long time ago, na? Yeah. No? As far as I can remember. Oh, oh. I think, simula po nung nagkaisip talaga ako, I think. Ganito na siya. Yeah, and then talagang uh, you've done several things already to remedy mm -hmm. this kind of problem. Almost every possible way, yung mga naririnig ko, uh, yung warm water with salt, yeah. babad siya, and then uh, meron na ding mga prescription from dermatologists yeah. na yeah. pinapahit Actually, the one that they gave you is the aluminum chloride mm -hmm. to dry up or stop the sweating. Yeah. So, did it take effect? Yes, but um, I'm tired of 
okay. putting it every night. Yes. <laughs> so right now, the remedy that we have given you, the botulinum toxin, actually, uh, it may uh, last for about six months. Okay. Oh, okay. Six so months. after six months, you may redo an injection again for that one. Okay. Maybe you're wondering if kind of like pag nag-stop na ba yung effect ng botox, magwa-worsen ba yung mm. sweating ng hands ko? Mm. Well, gradual ang pag-fade ng effect ng botulinum toxin. So, pagka nag-fade na siya, hindi naman niya i-worsen yung sweating ng hands mo. Okay. Ibabalik lang din niya sa dati. So, you need the retreatment after six months. After six. At least, rather than putting a daily topical solution mm -hmm. na I'm pretty sure you're so busy with your career right yeah. now, di ba? Any yeah. other questions you may want to ask? Uh, actually, yun na po. Okay. Yung, yung ano, duration, and then... Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Rins. Thank you for being with us this day. So, okay. I'm so happy. I'm so glad to be able to be of help to you. And of course, to our viewers, kung meron po kayong mga concerns na katulad ng kay Miss Rins, don't hesitate to call us. And um, book your appointment at CSA Derm Center. We can be reached through 045 331 1117. ng Marso ay buwan na pinaparangalan po natin ang mga kababaihan. Ang kanilang mga dakilang gawain sa araw-araw. We're privileged to have with us here today a very very great person, a very great woman, respected woman na actually po, siya ang kauna-unahang naging vice mayor sa city of Angeles. Siya po ito uspusong naglilingkod sa mga Angelenos. Kaya po, parangalan naman natin po si Vice Mayor Vicky Vega. Vice? Oh, magandang araw po, Doktor. Ha, Doktor. At sa lahat po ng ating uh, viewers, magandang hapon po. Welcome po sa Certified Opo. Skin Authority. Narinito po si Vice para naman po uh, magbahagi rin po sa atin ng kanyang mga... Um, simpleng regimen kung anong ginagawa kasi she's so busy mm -hmm. everyday doctora, right? Being Apo. a politician, lagi pong busy si doctora. Vice, Apo. meron po ba tayong mga kasi being in politics Apo. for how many years na po ba? Bali po, uh, as an elected official, uh, nang start po tayo 2001, uh, naging number one counselor po tayo wow. na dalawang beses, 2000 wow. and 2000. 1 in 2004 at nun nga pong 2007 we became the first woman vice mayor of Angeles City Congratulations. Po. and this is, I am now on my third term po uh, wow. so medyo matagal-tagal na po but so you're really representing the, the women Opa. especially yes. in our city the Opa. Angeles City or oh. the whole of Pampanga doctor yes. I know you're from Florida oh. kasi ako I was born and raised in Angeles City talaga oh. so we're privileged na Katabi natin ngayon, oh, isang yeah. napakagaling na vice mayor, di ba? So, may question ako. Opo, oh, ah, yes, I uh, Sa inyo pong busy schedule, mm -hmm. paano nyo pa po na papanatiliin ang inyong uh, beauty at wellness? <laughs> Opo. Siyempre, dahil uh, busy ang inyong mga schedule, Opo. paano po pa po ninyo nabibigyan ng oras ang inyong sarili? Opo. Una sa lahat po, ako, uh, I'm a certified also na spaholic, you know, wow. at alam po yan ni, ni yes. Doktora, no? nagiging suki niya po ako sa, okay. sa CSA, you know, po. and uh, I think uh, this time po, yung mga kababaihan, uh, they, they're beginning to realize that it's very important, hindi vanity po yun, kundi um, kailangan part po ng health po natin yan, no? yung, yung skin po, kasi lalo, sa, sinasabi ko nga po, ang mga politician na may parang konting pagka-showbiz dapat, na pagka po, uh, you're facing people, you're, um, you know, you talk to people, yes. dapat may uh, maganda po ang iyong uh, pagkaka-present right. sa iyong sarili. No? Na-experience ko na po yan. No? Yung kung minsan sabi po nung mga 
ng mga tao. Uh, ay, ayaw namin itong kandidatong iba. Kasi pangit siya, sabi hanggang. So, na-shock ako, no? So, then I re- began to realize yeah. that you don't really have to be parang uh, don't possess a movie star kind of quality. quality. Pero, kailangan malinis ka, maayos yung iyong uh, pananamit, no? At yung kabuuan ng iyong uh, pagpipresent sa tao. So, ako po, doktora, um, yung very simple lang po kasi ako, no? Late bloomer po ako, hindi ako kaagad uh, nag, natuto na mag-makeup, no? So, very simple lang po yung aking regimen po dyan, no? Na I make sure na uh, I wash my face, nag-moisturize, and then, um, in, uh, medyo ano po ako dun sa astringent, kasi yes. parang uh, dahil oily po yung skin ko, so, yeah. mga simpleng produkto lang po. And yeah. I make sure po na I get uh, the right amount of sleep, and right. uh, dahil po before, uh, medyo mas sexy po tayo before, no? So, ngayon, medyo nagiging conscious na rin po ako sa mga kain po natin because um, sabi ko nga, yun sa age ko, pwede akong tanungin, pero yun sa waistline ko, hindi pwede. So, ngayon po, I'm trying to bring yeah. back that time na kahit hindi ko na uh, mabalikan siguro yung talagang original state ng aking ways no pero yes. now uh, since um nag approach na late 40s na po kasi ako I'm 48 uh, turning 49 years old no so kailangan po maging conscious po yung pagbabaihan diyan yung uh, the food that they take and kailangan din po na yung checkups and uh, right. yung the necessary visit to the doctors po. correct mm-hmm. Na mention mo doktora yung looks talaga Apa. it has an impact on Apa. how you deal with people Tama, po pa and then it's just so basic that you're sharing with us Apa. the use of yung mga gentle moisturizers because sometimes our skin are easily Apa. irritated and Tama, especially okay. you on the go all the time baka nasa ilalim ko ila- lang araw yes po so ang atin din pong isang treatment na ibibigay actually kay doctor will i mean kay no, bye, the tao na kay oh, doctor ah okay. because oh, we'll be, yeah, yeah doctor na rin oh, dito ba um actually we'll give our vice mayor here a special treatment po syempre we would want to mm-hmm. uh, help you rin also to oh, maintain your mm-hmm. young look I diba think you the rejuvenated oh. look kasi okay. As time passes by nga mm-hmm. talaga, nanonotice natin, uh-huh. di ba, yung parang yung skin natin nagsasad. Sad, Kasi lalo na lag, lagi init ng araw, mm-hmm. so some of the collagen breaks mm-hmm. down, the mm-hmm. fragment really kind of loosen. So we'll help it with some treatment mm-hmm. na good din for our vice kasi lagi nagmamadali. So, okay. some quick so, procedures. Anong, okay. anong well, mga procedures yeah. natin available okay. na walang downtime. Correct. Mm. Kasi nga hindi siya pwede dun hindi sa mga may bruising, yeah. redness. Okay. 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 Correct. Ang Correct. recommend ko kay vice ngayon will be yung tinatawag na RF face lift. Uh-huh. Oh, diba? Kasi after the treatment po, may instant facelift to. Oh, okay. And if you have some occasions later mm-hmm. on, may meeting po kayo, uh-huh. ang ganda ng ano, appearance sa face. Uh-huh. Tapos actually po, yung mga lines, wrinkles, uh-huh. malilesen. Okay. May minimize the tara, uh-huh. diba? So, tightened na, lifted mm-hmm. na, younger looking, okay. and you can actually do your activities. Mm-hmm. Wala siyang downtime. Okay. Wala siyang nung mga kailangan mong magpahinga, mm-hmm. kailangan mong maghintay ng healing mm-hmm. or recovery. So, uh, I'm like most women po na medyo takot sa, sa mga medyo invasive surgical, or surgical. Invasive. No? So, yeah. uh, I, I'd rather po na hindi, right. kung, kung pwede po yes, yung ganyan. Po. No, po. Yes, so may solution naman po tayo sa para kay Vice to help her also maintain. Tapos, um, after na rin ng treatment, bigyan na po natin kayo ng pampering and relaxation which you really need. Para kami spa-holic, di ba? Yun din yung one way to, you know, to yung relax, relax di ba? You de-stress, maintaining Kasi health. Kasi yun sa, ano po namin, sa trabaho namin, kung meron right. pong, uh, pinaka-stressful na work, I think, isa na po kami doon, no? yung mga okay. nasa public service, mga politician. So, uh, thank you sa aking dalawang fairy godmother. <laughs> so right so, now, po. okay, maraming maraming salamat thank you so much, guys po. for gracing our episode. Po. And because of that, we would also want to share with you, we have some of our product from Dermatopoietin, okay? Meron po itong mga ano po, gentle lang na components mm-hmm. na you can use for your hands and for the 
feet area okay. na meron siyang moisturizing ah, para po sa so inyo. Po. And also from Restylane, mm -hmm. some soothing cream na merong hyaluronic. Mm -hmm. Natural lang po ang hyaluronic. Uh -huh. It's ano po, hypoallergenic. Mm -hmm. So you can use this at night para po kay Vice. Siyempre po, kailangan tulungan natin ang isang public servant. Tinutulungan po niya tayo. At of course, lagi po kasi siyang sa labas kailangan ng sun protection. So, we're giving her also sunblock. So, we hope you will enjoy with that. Thank you, okay. Thank you so much. And then, right now po, Vice will be having some treatments. Yung ating RF face lift. Ito pong episode na ito ay pagbibigay parangal sa mga kababaihan po na taus-pusong naglilikod sa ating bayan. Joining with me right now is an image and fashion stylist in Central Luzon. Actually po, he's a very good friend of mine. He's always here supporting CSA as well. And I'm privileged to have with me Mr. Abel Antonio. Hello to the viewers. Good day to all of you. So, I'm so privileged that I'm here now in your show. At long last, Vida. Yay! Thank you so much. So, Sir Abel, would you want to introduce our ah, family? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Because now, Divide right, Women's Month, and yes. we would like to give focus on women. Yes. Na they're not only in the physical, na maganda, kundi yung more of the working women yeah. for the community. That and I'm so right. proud to introduce to you the chairwoman of Lingap Balen, Ate Leira Buan. Okay. Magandang magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Doktora, thank you so much. And Abel, thank you, thank you. Um, magandang magandang araw po sa mga televiewers. Ma'am Leira, we're so privileged to have you with us right now. Kami po actually ay nag-wonder kasi po you're an, a, a very busy woman, Ayan. very active. Marami sigurong mga, ano, no, yung mga duties and responsibilities na pinupulit. Yes, yes. And we're thinking na, wow, Ma'am Dera, very beautiful. <laughs> Di ba? It shows. Beautiful so, okay, it's like, um, we wanted to know, we wanted to know, ano ba yung mga lihim mo or secrets that you're able to maintain a young-looking face? Di ba? Um, secret? Ano ba kaya ang sikreto ko? Kaya kasi, um, yung trabaho, Kapag daw masaya ka sa ginagawa mo, kahit anong pagod, no? nagre-reflect yata yung ganda ng puso wow. no? sa panglabas. They should maintain themselves. So, ang kanya, marirecommend mo sa kanya, kasi alam ko ito, oh. filled out yung schedule niya. Ano yung pwedeng once a month regimen niya na gawin? Yeah. Tsaka, alam ko naman, laging busy. Tapos, kailangan ko lang downtime. Yun nga. Ano yung once a month ang pwede niya gawin para ma-maintain ang kanyang beauty kasi beautiful na siya. Actually, kay Ma'am Mira, kasi super beautiful na siya. It's just maintaining the beauty, di ba? Ayan na. So, actually, ako, I could recommend in our clinic, we have this so-called cryotherapy. Cryotherapy? Yes. We have the cryotherapy. Pwede yung retort para ma-remember siya. Cryo for a cold therapy, therapeutic effect, okay? okay? It's a procedure wherein ang benefit kasi nito, pwede tayong mag-infuse ng, for example, you want to do widening treatment para maalis din yung mga mga spots or patches that we see on the face, di ba? Ay, tamang-tama. Yung kasi sometimes ayaw magdala ng payo or nagmamadala. Pagyabas ng sasakyan, ganyan ang laguna. So, so maganda yung kahit walang payong. No? Tama, kasi, okay, sun rays, di ba? UV rays, nagkakaroon ng mga sunspots. And I, I think she's always outside kasi Ay, oh, Lingap na Balen. Oh. Nakikita ko sa mga photos niya. Sa Facebook, ako. Oh. Actually, na palaging tumutulong dun sa mga less fortunate. And daytime, I'm pretty sure you're on the sun <laughs> also. Sun protection, di ba? Yung cryotherapy, may pang-infuse siya ng mga essential nutrients also. Mm -hmm. Aside from merong whitening, meron din siya ng mga pang-lift ng face. Para kasi, laging puya, di ba? Stress sa work. So, nagbe-break down yung mga skin collagen, nagsasagang skin. Mm. Meron din siyang benefit na pangli. Actually po, may ibibigay niya ako sa'yo. Ay, ang sasabi. Meron ang ibibigay <coughs> ng mga oil-free, hypoallergenic na sunblock for you. Kasi, of 
course, you need to still shield your skin from the UV rays. Okay. Diba? We're gonna give you a sun bath. Okay, it's so much. Actually, ano po siya? Uh, oil free. So, hindi siya yung breezy or nang lalaket. And ah, then, okay. good for sensitive skin also. It's in a gel formulation. Uh Oo, -oh, minsan kasi course. pagka naka-makeup ako. Like, yes. may mm, occasion. Kahit yeah, gabi. Um, ang bilis malusaw ng makeup. So, parang gusto ko kami minsan yung waterproof mm. na yes. makeup ang nilalagay. Yeah. Pero ano pa rin? Natatanggal pa rin. Yeah. Parang hindi ko alam kung meron ako sa mukha. Parang ayaw Pero, ata na <laughs> Palaging on the go, laging kailangan, nasa labas, okay? Now, yung ating treatment that we will do for Ma'am Lera right now will also help her to get this uh, antioxidants to fight the free radicals from the UV rays also. Ma'am Lera. I'll start using this one. Right, right now. Because <laughs> si Ma'am Mira, so, syempre, meron siyang daily regimen. We also help her in the clinic to, we're gonna give yung deep cleansing treatment also oh, to remove, so syempre, much. yung mga pores natin. And sometimes, nagka-clog dyan, yung mga Tama. dead cells, yung mga makeups na nag-sit in doon sa mga pores, diba? Yung mga residue, saka yung mga debris from the environment, and lagi siyang outside. So, we can also help her do some of this treatment, a deep cleansing, and then proceed to the cryotherapy for. Fresh, the basic, super cleaning. Correct, oh. basic daily skin care, your skin cleanser, na dapat gentle lang, mm -hmm. you can make use of the toner to balance the pH of the skin, and then a day cream that can help also fight yung mga free radicals from the environment, and a night cream, yes. na meron tayong mga night cream, syempre. Mm -hmm. Pwede tayong gumamit ng mga vitamin A derivatives, like mga retinol etc. And also with Ma'am Lira kasi, I could recommend also for her kasi we do skin analysis, di ba? And face analysis. She could also have a, what we call face contouring treatment. Oh, yun na tayo. Ay, yan. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Kasi yun, oh. <laughs> siya, pero yung sinasabi ni Ate Lira ni Ma'am Lira dito. Oh. No. Yeah. Kasi diba? sa trabaho natin, hindi natin mawawala yung mga bashers natin. <laughs> no, pwede sinasabi, sino yun? Si Atila yung puro pa nga. Ano yung mga yun? Puro daw ako pa nga. Sasabihin ko, tinatanong ko nga yung sarili ko, minasang salamin, ah, saan ba yung pangako? Ano <coughs> ko pangako? Eh, ito. Pero minsan, nakikita mo rin sa sarili mo, yung saan yung may problema ka on your own. Mm -hmm. O nga, ano, panganga ako. <laughs> Pero ang sabi ko naman minsan, pero siguro, this is only for my own, uh, Pampalubag loob, si, si, ano ba si Tony Gonzaga? Yes, yes. oo. Diba? Sabi ko, puro din naman pa ngayon eh, bakit siya maganda? <laughs> so, pwede palang at least ma yes. ma-work out. No? Anong gagawin ng doktora kung mabawas? Well, sabi? just to comment, syempre ako, actually I did also a face contouring. I used to have a square face. Okay. Mm. The fussy right now is to have an inverted triangle shape on the face for women for the female okay so we tend to just contour here para mm. slim lang natin a bit this one kasi for some people ito na yung genetic makeup Tama, oh. okay now it's good you're good looking you just wanna kind of ano lang yung you wanna have this shape na gusto mo so parang i-relax lang natin i-diminish oh, okay. natin a bit ngayon pag na-diminish siya parang nag-shape parang mag-inverted triangle ang face she has a very beautiful like yung cheek bone OG curve yan Love natin yung ganyan na prominent dito, mm -hmm. di ba? Lifted look, di ba? So we just kind of contour, contour. a bit here. Ito na, okay. no? Okay. Kinapako nga, medyo, yeah. hindi pala medyo malaki ata talaga. Mm. <laughs> so ano po uh -oh. po yung remedy namin for that? We now use the botulinum toxin. Um, ang procedure is, hindi naman po siya surgical, uh -oh. okay? And um, it's not naman with pain. Although I say, I say minimal, minimal discomfort. It's injecting a botulinum toxin. Ang botulinum toxin kasi, it's a protein substance that was isolated from an organism. Now, very safe naman siya. It has clinical trials. It was studied and approved ng US FDA. Now, a lot of people are using this. Hindi lang naman siya for this one. Hindi lang siya for lines or wrinkles. Marami siyang indications. I have some patients yung may mga bliparous spasm or yung mga muscular spasm. Even yung may mga cerebral palsy, two-year-old, two-year-old, to correct yung deformity sa paa. 
So, may applications din po siya for that. Ay, ganun. So, hindi lang siya aesthetic, no? Hindi lang siya no? cosmetics. Oh. Cosmetics and aesthetics. Meron siyang therapeutic too. indications. Okay, that's good. Approved na rin for migraine okay. treatment to give her uh, using the injection of botulinum toxin. Oh, so, thank you so oops. much for that. Thank you, Ma'am Leira. In addition to the sandak, we also have hyaluronic cream. It can be a night cream that you can apply all over the face. It will hydrate your skin. Thank you so much. Kasi lagi kang sa labas, di ba nagda-dry ang skin, nawawala yung luster. So, it will also ano, prevent dullness ng skin. Ayun daw. Ma'am Lira, ihandog ng CSA for you. Thank you so much. We will so do much. a treatment for you. Wow. So, Padangal po namin okay, sa'yo. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, thank you. we will also do the procedure and pakita natin sa ating mga kapitbahay. Oh. Bahay. Ano po ba ang botulinum toxin type A? Ito po ay isang protein substance po na na-isolate from an organism called Clostridium botulinum. Kaya po pinangalanan botulinum toxin. So actually po, ito po ay katulad ng mga ini-inject din ng mga vaccines. They get a vaccine from a part of a certain organism like a microbe or a virus and they make it into a medicine. They inject it into like for example, muscular area po or in the dermis of the skin. Ngayon po, ang botulinum toxin po, ang mga uses nito, hindi lamang po sa cosmetic medicine. Kadalasan iniisip natin mga pang wrinkles pang lines. Meron din po siyang mga ibang indications or therapeutic uses. Ngayon po, approved na rin po siya for treatment of migraine. So, we inject certain parts of the scalp like sa temporal region po or occipital region. Or other uses po ng botulinum toxin sa mga excessive sweating, sa armpit, sa palms of the hands, soles of the feet. Paano po ba sila nag-work? Or, what is the effect ng botulinum toxin? So, upon injection po, pagpasok po ng protein molecule doon sa surface or rather inside the dermis o kaya sa muscles ng ating katawan po, meron po siyang binablock na neurotransmitter. Ang tawag po dito ay acetylcholine. Actually po, ang pinaka binablock po nito yung nerve impulse mula doon sa nerve papunta po doon sa muscles. Kung kaya, marirelax po yung muscles. Wala pong nerve impulse, walang contraction ang muscles. Thereby, prohibiting po muscular contraction that leads into development po ng mga lines, wrinkles, or corrugations. So that is how botulinum toxin works in our body. Ngayon po, ang tanong din, how long will it last? Generally speaking, 4 to 6 months. For some individuals, up to 3 months. For some, up to 6 or 9 months. So you may want to see your doctor again in 4 to 6 months to ask if you need another botulinum toxin injection. So what is the interval? Okay, pwede po tayong mag once a year or twice a year po sa injection. Now during the procedure po, we numb the skin kung saan po tayo mag inject We apply a topical anesthesia or a cream na pang numb and then after that we inject na po usually the numbing cream will take about 30 to 45 minutes and then quick ang procedure easily administered well tolerated by our clients minimal discomfort and no downtime you can even do this during your break time from your work so, maaari po kayong mag-send pa po ng mga questions ninyo to our website, www.csadermcenter.org or sa amin pong Facebook account, CSA Derm Center or you may text us at 0917-504-4268 We have our landline, 45 Para po sa lahat ng inyong mga katanungan, mga comments or suggestions, mag-log in lang po kayo sa aming website. And hope, we hope that we could answer all your questions po. 
Maraming maraming salamat po. I'm Dr. Contessa Salvador. We hope to see you again in our next episode next week. God bless you all. Thank you.